Some people told us there was tens of thousands of tons of plastic in the ocean, and some people told us there was tens of millions of tons of plastic in the oceans. In order to develop this technology, it's really important to know how much of this plastic is out there. We started answering that question about a year ago when we uh, launched something we called the, the Mega Expedition, where we crossed the ocean with 30 boats at the same time, taking more measurements in three weeks than in the preceding 40 years combined. But what we noticed was that there is still debris that was even larger than that we were able to properly sample during that trip. So then we came up with this crazy idea, what if instead of using boats, we actually use an aircraft to cover the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and to find out how much of this largest debris in the ocean is actually out there. There is bad news for our ocean. The first aerial flight of that great Pacific garbage patch shows there is much more trash than expected. Well, the first ever aerial survey reveals the problem is even worse than originally believed. So they used a Vietnam War era C-130 Hercules with a high-tech radar camera to help spot plastic debris in just five minutes. The garbage patch is basically as far away as you can get from land, about a thousand miles offshore. So really the only way to get there is to have an aircraft with a very large range. Traveling at 140 knots, crew members of the aerial expedition sat in jump seats with doors wide open, the wind howling in their faces to count any objects they could see. The crazy thing was these people, these observers, were used to observing things like whales and dolphins. So they had this protocol where every time they spotted something, they would take a picture and you know, somebody else would write down the size and the color, that kind of thing. I think within five minutes, they, they changed the whole uh, protocol into taking a lot of pictures and making uh, like stripes for the, for the amount of objects they saw. We expected to be able to actually take our time. We weren't. We were just fast, bang, 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 to actually go through the area. What they found was as much garbage at the edge of the gyre than they expected to see at the center of it, where the debris is more concentrated. Large objects which make up a major. During a period of just two and a half hours, our crew observed more than a thousand large objects of plastic floating underneath this aircraft. And again, um, yeah, this underlines the urgency of, um, of why we need to clean it up, because all this big stuff over the next few decades will crumble down into those small microplastics. Bad stuff then ends up in the food chain, and that's the food chain that includes also us uh, humans.